Hello and welcome back. This is Nick with another Live 365 video tutorial and today we're going to be going over the brand new Studio 365 for Mac. Now this is the application that uh, is used to manage your basic mode broadcast and we're going to take you through all the features and show you how it works. First thing I'm going to do is log into uh, my test account I've created. Let's see, okay. All right, now when you first log in, if you haven't used the app before, you're, you're going to be hit with this screen here. This is our, our quick uh, tool tips guide, which will walk you through all the features and show you how it works uh, for the most part. Now, if you want to uh, check those out, feel free uh, to pause the video. I'm going to go ahead and click to click through, and we're going to go ahead with the rest of the tutorial here. All right, so I've got the application open. Let's see, now I can expand it. Um, for now, I'm going to just keep it like this. Okay, so when you first log in uh, as a new broadcaster, you are going to be prompted to set up your station profile. That's usually the first step is setting up your station profile when, when you're a brand new broadcaster. Now, since I'm not brand new, it didn't prompt me for that, but I can always edit that information here by clicking on account info and then clicking edit station profile. So as you can see here, I can change title to something like that. I can change the description. I can add keywords. I can choose the format of my station, which is the bitrate, and save. So that's where you go for all that. The next step in the process is really creating your first playlist and then uploading tracks to your locker and then moving those into your playlist. Now, in the case of this new software, there's some cool new features where you actually can s skip a step by um, uploading tracks directly to the playlist, and they will also exist in your locker at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and show you how that works. I'm going to go ahead and click on Create New. Let's uh, call this Awesome Playlist. All right, I'm going to choose a color for this. There we go. As you can see, awesome playlist is created. These will all show up in alphabetical order. All right, now the playlist is empty. Now there's two ways that you can fill the playlist. Uh, you can either add tracks from your locker or you can upload brand new tracks. So I'm going to do a little bit of both to demonstrate this. So I want to click on this. And the first thing I'm going to do is going to move some tracks. These are the tracks showing up in my locker. These are tracks I've already uploaded to my locker. So I'm going to just Select a few here and add tracks. Now when you do that for the first time, it is going to ask you for your uh, track upload normalized preference. And what that means is that um, basically all the tracks that are on Live365's platform are normalized to 89 decibels. And uh, in order to maintain kind of a, like a uniform platform so that uh, listeners, uh, when they navigate to the different stations, they're not uh, listening to all kinds of different levels of volume for for songs and everything. What we recommend generally is to normalize it to 89 decibels. And you can read a little bit more about that by hovering over this uh, question mark tooltip. Uh, so you basically choose 89 dB, hit save, and as you can see it moved all those tracks right in here right away. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a few tracks. Launch uploader. Let me find it. I have a folder here ready to go. I'm just going to select a few tracks here. Let's see. Okay, upload. Okay, so here I'm getting a duplicate error. So the system is checking my locker already and says, you've already uploaded these tracks. You don't need to upload them again, So, um, except one of them. So that one's getting uploaded, which is nice. Okay, and as you can see, it uploaded just fine. Now the next step is making sure that your metadata is completely correct. So um, that's how the artists get paid on our platform. So basically you just want to select the track. You'll see down here you can set the track type to music. You can put in the artist name, track title, album title. You can also put in the, um, the picture URL. So if you have the cover art somewhere out there on the web, you can grab that URL put it in here. Just make sure it's a publicly accessible URL and it'll display when your listeners are, are tuned in. Um, another quick uh, handy tool is the search Amazon function. You can click on search Amazon and it'll go through for you and try to find uh, the track. So it looks like it did find something. 
and you can click through here. There we go. So I'm not sure which one it is. I'm just going to copy that one. And then you click Save, and that takes care of your metadata. So it's really handy uh, to have that Search Amazon function available for you. Now, another thing to note is everything is drag and drop functional. So basically, if you have your folder out here, and you've got a track, uh, let's see, let's ha let's check that one out. And you know you want to dump it into your playlist. Um, basically, all you have to do is just drag it in, and it'll begin to upload. So it's really easy, really easy to use. Okay, so as you can see, there's a, m a message here saying DMCA violation. And what this means is, is that the playlist is obviously too short to play on the air. There are certain DMCA rules, that, and you have to make sure that your playlist is passing those rules in order for it to play on your, on your station. So, so right now I need to increase the, the length of m the duration of this playlist in order for it to play. So I need to add some more tracks. I'm going to go into my tracks locker here, and we're just going to add some more stuff. Add a bunch more tracks here. Okay, so now I'm past one hour, but now it's saying there's too many tracks from the same album, and it's going to highlight them for you here. As you can see, the ones that are highlighted in uh, this color, you can select them. So what I want to do is I'm going to delete these. So you just select those both, and you can click Delete to get rid of them. I'm going to get rid of these two. There we go. And let's upload some other tracks here. So now we got it. So now the playlist is over one hour in length, and now the system is going to allow me to play it. So let's see here. Once it finishes uploading, of course. Perfect. Okay, so as you can see, now the message, the DMCA message has gone away. My, my playlist is ready to be played on the air, and I can click Save Playlist here. Another quick thing to mention is the shuffle and auto reorder feature. So if I want to shuffle my, my playlist, I can just turn shuffle on, or I can click auto reorder. And what that does is it'll literally change the order of all your tracks in real time right before your eyes. You can do it over and over. You can also drag the tracks to the position that you want it to be in. It's completely up to you, and it's really easy to use. Okay, and off to the side here, you have all your playlists here. Um, you'll see that the one that's currently playing on air is the one that has this little icon. And you'll see it here, Playlist on Air. You can also see which one is on air by uh, this down here, and it'll also show the current track playing. Now, if you want to queue up a new playlist, all you have to do is go select the playlist that you want to queue up, and then hit this uh, button up here. And you have three options. You can either play the new playlist after the current track that's playing, or you can have the new playlist start after the current playlist finishes. That's the second option. Or you can have it play immediately. So it's completely up to you as a broadcaster. Okay, and on to the tracks locker. Uh, there's some handy search and filtering options. So say you've got a bunch of tracks all in your locker here. Um, you know, you can't see them all, so it's really handy to be able to search real quick here and type in an artist name. As you can see, it's pulled up all the tracks by Lady Gaga. You can also do some quick filtering by the playlist or the type of track. You can also do uploaded in the last 24 hours, ratings, so it's really handy. All right, and lastly, I want to show you the stats so you can access your station stats through the account info button. And as you can see here, it's really handy for broadcasters to be able to get a quick glance of their current stats as they stand so they can see how many free standard listeners are listening, how many VIPs are tuned in. Um, TLH is your total listening hours for the past 30 days, so it kind of helps you gauge uh, how much uh, listening time you're raking in. Um, also, the number of users who have favorited your station, so you can quickly see, you know, uh, you can gauge your popularity. Um, then it gives you some information about your broadcast package, the storage space you've been using, and, um, and then your bitrate format. And then it gives you some nice um, social media triggers to share on the web. So, But that pretty much wraps it up. This is our new Studio 365 um, basic mode broadcast manager software 
and we're really excited to get it out to you guys. Uh, let us know if you have any questions. Have a great day.